Hi, in this video, I will demonstrate how to use the SSP spreadsheet to size a new separator vessel. First, we enter process data into the datasheet. However, we can import data from Aspen HiSys directly. To import data, we select the HiSys file and all the vessel on HiSys appears in the list view. We choose the name of the separator and all the data will be imported to SSP. Different geometry configuration can be used. In this example, we will select three-phase horizontal vessel with a wire. We can specify detailed vessel geometry and vessel view as we can specify minimum length for sizing purposes. Most of the demisting device are available on SSP. In this example, we are going to select mesh pad as a demisting device and vein type as inlet device. You can specify the specification of the demisting device on internal setting. The liquid holdup can be specified directly as it can be calculated based on the required time and the minimum length. To size the nozzle, we input the required pressure drop, select the schedule of the pipe, and we click at Size Nozzle button. The next step is to specify the separator constraint. In SSP, a new approach to size a vessel is used, where we can specify the carryover as constraint. This will give us an opportunity to optimize the size of the separator without a need of a review of the performance specification and avoid recalculate of design adjustments. Here, a carryover is specified on the liquid gas separation and D100 on liquid liquid separation. A range of length diameter ratio can be used. In this example, we are going to use a fixed ratio. When we're finished, click to auto size. Optimum size of the separator based on minimum weight is determined with preliminary layout. Some analysis are available in internal settings. Droplet size distribution on different stages, carryover on different stages, and droplet efficiency separation. Also, we can determine if the vessel can handle extra flow using a case study where we vary the flow and we calculate the carryover. When you finish your analysis, you can send your results to runs by clicking Send to Runs and Start New Case. Here, you can compare results and evaluate many cases. If you want to know more about SSP, please visit our website or email us.